Well, we here at 7 Action News aim to speak up for this little guy, and sometimes that includes man's best friend. For months now, Action News has highlighted the critical concerns of animal care at Detroit Animal Control. But it seems at least one city official didn't like it. We were barred from interviewing the new head of animal control today. But as Action News reporter Kimberly Craig shows us, it's still a great day for animals inside the facility with new management. I'm just so happy. I'm, I'm very happy that Harry Ward's gone. It's a new day at Detroit Animal Control. Now the director, Harry Ward, is gone, and the city of Detroit has hired Melissa Miller. Miller, who is well known for her compassion in animal rescue, comes from the Humane Society of the United States, where she set up and managed shelters in everything from natural disasters to large-scale cruelty cases. Everything that I've read and heard about Melissa um, seems very positive, seems like she is the perfect person for this job. I'm just ecstatic that Harry Ward's gone. We really need to see how Detroit is treating their animals. Back in June, animal advocates and rescues teamed up to demand that the city clean up animal control. Dogs and cats were dying unnecessarily from disease. And then there were the allegations of neglect and even cruelty. It's going to take the city administration and the mayor getting involved, sitting down with these groups and talking about it. What can we do to improve animal services in Detroit? Because right now, it's not working. The city then set up an animal welfare reform group, but it was a long and frustrating six months for many. Frederick Weems Beagle Mix Scrap was seized when he was evicted and died before he could save enough money to get him out. And then there was Cato, killed when his owner couldn't pay the fees fast enough, and both dogs never bit anyone. I was pretty much begging him, like, listen, I don't get paid for another two weeks. Like, I, I tried to borrow money, but it still wasn't enough. And now that there's a change in leadership at Detroit Animal Control? Hopefully things are going to be very much better than what they were. Action News wanted to talk to Melissa Miller, the new head of Animal Control, but her boss, Health Department Director, Dr. Abdul El Sayed told us no because of our coverage, coverage that highlighted the deplorable conditions. And where is Harry Ward now? He's been reassigned to take care of the horses at Detroit Police Mounted Patrol. I feel like it's a slap in the face, and I feel like I don't understand how the city can allow him to work with animals again after seeing the deplorable conditions at DAC. And we fought so hard to get him out of here, and now he's back working with animals again. So. Obviously, our fight isn't over. In Detroit, Kimberly Craig, 7 Action News.